Spirulina for hypothyroidism Spirulina is a blue-green algae, and although it is a food, it is better known as a dietary supplement. It is commonly touted for all sorts of health-promoting purposes and sold in both powdered and capsule form. Due to its nutrient profile, spirulina may be beneficial for certain thyroid conditions, but no clinical studies have confirmed its usefulness for treating thyroid disorders. Hypothyroidism, an insufficient production of thyroid hormones, is caused by a variety of factors among them an iodine deficiency. Consuming a diet that is too low in iodine can cause your thyroid gland to become sluggish. Although the introduction of iodized salt has reduced the likelihood of having an iodine deficiency, many pregnant women in the United States and people who consciously avoid iodized salt are still low in it. Since your body cannot make iodine, you need to get it from dietary sources, and spirulina is naturally very high in it. As such, natural health practitioners sometimes recommend spirulina to help treat hypothyroidism, however, this recommendation is based on anecdotal evidence alone. Spirulina for thyroid health Even though it has not yet been clinically proven to help fight hypothyroidism, the range of nutrients in spirulina make it a beneficial addition to a thyroid health-supporting diet. The potent antioxidant properties of spirulina may help prevent certain thyroid gland diseases by protecting the thyroid from the harmful effects of free radicals. Spirulina is also rich in a range of minerals including selenium, which is well known for its thyroid-supporting properties. Finally, spirulina is an excellent source of protein and contains a healthy dose of vitamin B12, which is helpful because many people with hypothyroidism are deficient in B12. Considerations always buy spirulina from a trusted brand because it can be contaminated with toxic substances. Also, depending on the water where it was grown, spirulina may contain high levels of heavy metals. A standard dose of spirulina for supporting health is 500 mg per day, but spirulina may interact with certain medications. People with the metabolic condition phenylketonuria should not take spirulina.